four weeks ago, I said goodbye to the hospital that I have been training at over the past year and I got ready to embark on an adventure to a small rural town in Northern BC for my family practice rotation. So this is my last time in this hospital, just returning some stuff. It's crazy, we're almost at the end of third year. My locker is 100% cleared out, all ready for the next student who might use it. I might be back here next year for electives, but otherwise this is kind of the end of an era. After packing my bags and filling my trunk, I was ready to drive to the small town of Fort St. James where I would spend the next month. So now I sing to you. Hello, hello. I've got about an hour left of driving before I reach my final destination. I'm gonna be honest, because it's summer and the weather is so nice out, this just feels like a road trip, like a little summer vacation. Doesn't really feel like school or work, which is super nice. Anyways, I'm gonna keep driving and I will check in with you in about an hour. Hello, so I made it. I am here in the small town known as Fort St. James. The population here is 1,598 according to Google. And I will be spending the next month here learning all about what it's like to be a family practice physician in a really small community. So, should be an adventure. Good morning, I'm just out for a run and this is my view, how beautiful. Alrighty, so I just arrived to hospital. It is pretty small, so hopefully that means I can't get lost. But stay tuned, because you know me, I have no sense of direction. Okay, so I just had my tour of the hospital. So in this hospital, they've got an ER, they've got a labor and delivery room, they've got x-ray, lab, long-term care, and acute care beds. So, you know, a good mix of stuff, and everyone is like super friendly so far. So I think it's gonna be a fun month. So I just did my first home visit. We took off a patient's toenail. The patient was absolutely lovely, but the freezing just was not working. So it was quite a challenging surgery. Um, but yeah, that was the highlight of day one. Good morning, so this is day two of the clinic. So this clinic I'm at is actually pretty large. We've got like a giant square and then all these patient rooms, multiple offices. I think there's like seven or eight doctors that work here. This is just one side that's like a giant square, so there's lots more where that came from. This is my little desk setup. Good morning, so I'm just at hospital this morning. I was hoping to do a little minor toenail surgery today. I don't know what it is about me and toes. I swear I'm not some freak that is seeking out these foot experiences, but uh, they just seem to find me, you know, the toe amputation and then the toenail removal the other day. Now this toe but this toe was a no-show, so we're gonna head to clinic. So in family practice, when we write our notes, we start with an identification statement, which is usually the patient, pertinent sort of past medical history, and then SOAP, so subjective, how are they feeling, how are things going, objective, these are measurements, so like their blood pressure, physical exam, and then any sort of labs or imaging. Assessment is essentially like a summary of the entire appointment, their diagnosis, what is going on, and then plan is what we're going to do about that. And then on the side, I usually keep a running to-do list of like what things they need refilled, um, if they need any labs or imaging, if they need any forms done, and that's sort of how I format my notes. And then the to-do list just makes sure I don't forget to do anything. Um, so the patient gets everything they need. In terms of books and resources, I have two things. I've got Toronto notes. This section has like all of primary care. And then here I just have notes off of sort of guidelines. And then over in the next section, I have notes on sort of patient cases of things that I see, but I wasn't like 100% sure of the protocol. If I encounter the same problem again, I kind of have a framework of what to do. So it's quarter after eight right now. So I'm just gonna spend the next 45 minutes or so reviewing the lads, investigations, and previous notes for all of the patients that I will be seeing today. Good morning, just here at hospital, got called in for some back pain. I'm making myself a cup of tea. Also you guys, the ends of my hair are so damaged. It literally feels like hay. It's so dry. So just finished writing up the patient note and now I'm gonna go back to reading about penises. I 
have to say one of the nice things about the whole face mask situation is this is like extra sun protection. I've started using a retinol cream and it definitely increases your sun sensitivity. So here's to me looking like I'm ready to rob a bank. <clears throat> Jeez, my throat. Just here to see a burn patient. Just realized my mask matches my scrubs. Cute. So the patient I just saw had a second degree burn. For reference, this is what they look like. Pretty blistery. Every time I've seen a patient with this type of burn, they always, always just want to pop it and rip that upper layer of skin off. And honestly, I don't blame them. However, this patient's blister was over a really big joint and it was kind of getting in the way of range of motion and it would have been really hard to dress. So what we did is we poked a needle in it and pulled all the fluid out. It was so satisfying. I can see why Dr. Pimple Popper loves her job. With some extra time on my hands and the beautiful sun, I decided to try and take some pictures for my Instagram. My vision was to take some pics with the lake in the background, but the glare from the sunlight that's setting and like is on the lake, it's just way too overpowering. Okay, lighting, composition, nice. But why, why do I look so uptight? Why is my shoulder shrugging? I really just need one postable picture. It's so nice doing this family practice rotation at the end of third year because I feel like I'm just like applying absolutely everything I learned and it's just like a really good refresher and it's a good way to pull everything together and kind of see all the specialties from like a different perspective. So yeah, that's been pretty neat. So it is week two of living life in Fort St. James. Um, I'm just sitting at my desk doing some studying. Also, I started a retinol cream. It's been about like four days and my skin is majorly peeling. It kind of hurts, but I've heard that you just kind of have to wait this out. And then after like a month, all your skincare dreams come true. saw some patients this morning in hospital and now I'm heading to clinic. Because this tiny hospital is in the middle of nowhere, we have a helicopter landing pad so that emergency patients can just be picked up by helicopter and transferred really quickly. Good morning you guys, I got my second dose of the COVID vaccine yesterday. So today I feel like complete garbage. All my muscles are kind of sore, especially where I got injected, but like everywhere else too. I polled you guys on Instagram to see how everybody else felt after their second dose, and the results were really mixed. I would say half of you felt the way I do, just terrible, and then half of you felt totally normal. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Good morning, it is another day of me living my best life. Today's Monday, it is week three, so we are officially more than halfway through this rotation. Anyways, I am currently editing a video, and then I'm gonna do some studying. This video is all about a productive day in my life. These videos are kind of fun to film because I find that it forces me to be like on my A game and really be productive because I'm like, oh my god, camera's out, people are watching, I don't wanna have to refilm this, let's just get a lot done today. But yeah, if I'm being honest, not every day is this productive. Good morning, my friends. I am in a different office today. I'm in a First Nations health-like clinic. This is my desk. This health clinic has an entire kitchen. Like, what the heck? I'm just grabbing myself a cup of coffee to start off the morning. Nice small cup for me. So this is the clinic that I was at today. I had this thought the other day. I was like, I wonder if people prefer being in clinic versus hospital. I pulled you guys on my Instagram story and most of you prefer hospital and I have to say I agree. So uh, this is happening. Okay, just finished a full day in clinic. The building did not burn down despite the events this morning. So that's good news. Uh, hey guys. 
guys. Uh, just out for a run. I thought because I got up early, I'd have a bit of energy to get some exercise in. But honestly, my heart, my lungs, my stomach, my legs are all like, please stop it. Oh my gosh, it's a sign about me when I run. I always feel so self-conscious when I have to stop and walk. I'm like, oh my God, all these cars passing me are judging me, thinking I'm slow. When in reality, nobody cares, but that's how my brain works. Good morning, so today I am on call. Anyways, I am going to put my scrubbity scrubs on so that I am ready to pop out of the house and head up to the hospital at any moment in case there is some emergency that I have to attend to. I managed to drip white toothpaste on my dark navy blue scrubs, so I'm just trying to wipe it out with a cloth. Okay, so it is 10 a.m., finally got called into hospital. There's a patient that was brought in by ambulance who had a seizure. I really don't know how to manage seizure patients. This guy sounds pretty stable. So hopefully this is a good learning experience and hopefully he doesn't seize again. And hopefully he doesn't seize again. Okay, so I'm back home chilling. I'm still on call, uh, but things sort of got quiet at the ER. So I'm back in my usual habitat, AKA bed. So do you remember how earlier this morning I was like, hmm, I don't really know what to do with seizure patients. I really don't know how to manage seizure patients. Well, I get there. I'm talking to him. He's fine, like totally fine. Not even post ictal or anything. Alert and oriented times three, GCS of 15. He's answering all my questions. And then mid-sentence starts seizing again. The doctor is not at the hospital. It's just me and the nurses. So my brain was like, oh dear. Patient was like ripping out his IVs, super combative, very strong. He's like biting and hitting people. So yeah, that was the excitement for the day. Other than that, I got to see like a bunch of eMERGE consults and nothing too major. Everyone was like discharged home, you know, the usual. Got to stitch up some lacerations, which is my favorite thing in the world. But yeah, it's been good otherwise. It was like a pretty steady day. Hello, so I'm back out of bed. got called in to see a patient. Uh, hopefully it should be pretty straightforward this one. And we're back. That was super straightforward. I feel like I only had to call the attending because of medical legal reasons. I totally knew how to handle that, so that feels a lot better after this morning's chaos. All right, I will head up there and I will speak with you after I've seen the patient. Sounds good, bye-bye. Good morning, today is Monday. It is my last week of family practice, my last week here in Fort St. James, but it's also my last week of clerkship. I was thinking about this the other day and I kind of got teary. I was like, oh my God, it's been a year. <laughs> So I'm at clinic a bit early. We don't have our first patient until nine. So I'm just going to spend some time uh, reading through the patient's charts, checking up on their labs, and just making sure I got all my ducks in a row. Hey, so I just finished my day in clinic. Um, yeah, so basically the doctor today was asking me some questions that I should have known the answers to. But I could not for the life of me remember the answer to any of these questions. There were some ortho questions, some internal medicine questions, and I was just like, I don't know, but I should. So that's a good wake up call, I guess. Guys, I came home and I just went to bed and I've been wasting my time on my phone. So I'm gonna force myself to go for a run. I think that'll be better for my stress management. And then we have to study tonight. I feel like I keep saying that but for real, I don't know how to study for this exam. All right, we're winning. Good morning, I'm just here at my computer. Um, yeah, just flipping through some flashcards while I get ready. And then, um, yeah, I'm gonna head up to the hospital. I have a biopsy to do. And then after that, we're heading out to a community called Tache. I hope I said that right. It's a First Nations, mostly First Nations community. It's like a 45 minute drive from here. 
I thought we were already in the middle of nowhere, but I guess there's smaller places as well. Also, the doctor I'm with is like, oh, I can just drive both of us out to Tache. It's a 45 minute drive and I'm just like, oh, I don't know if I can make awkward conversation for 45 minutes. Plus we also have to drive back. Pray for me. I'm just such an awkward potato, I don't know. The doctor's really nice, I'm sure we'll be fine. I just get worked up about these things unnecessarily. Uh... So this is the Tache clinic. This is our examination room as well as office where we will be seeing patients today. And the best part about today is that they made us panic. Current time is 7.36. I'm heading off to microwave this cup of coffee. I feel like I've reached a point in medical school where coffee just has like no effect on me anymore. Also stress, it no longer motivates me to grind super hard and study like crazy. It, yeah, it just manifests as stress, acne, and gray hairs, but not as motivation. So that's not very good. Hey beans, so I am in bed, got my laptop, got a bunch of questions and I'm gonna try and go through. It's 10.30 now, uh, I think my cutoff tonight will be 12.30 and I have 100 questions, so hopefully we can get through all of them. Those questions I tried to do last night, I got 3.50, passed out, and then didn't wake up again till 2 a.m. Laptop was still open, so I'm gonna try and finish those questions this morning. Slowly progressing. Hello, so as you can see probably from the background, I am back home from Fort St. James. I'm now sitting here with a champagne glass of Coke. Got a big bowl of popcorn here that I've eaten most of and I'm also doing some last minute review before my big exam tomorrow. Good morning! So today is the exam day. <laughs> I feel meh about this exam. Basically, this exam is very broad. It's our ambulatory care block. So basically everything that didn't really fit into the other blocks is thrown into this block. So we have emergency medicine, family medicine, ambulatory internal medicine, ophthalmology, and dermatology. So I feel pretty good about emergency medicine. Um, family medicine, feel pretty good about. Dermatology and ophthalmology is where they're gonna kick my butt. Because we had like three days of ophthalmology and like four days of derm, and that's it. So just like clinical exposure to things was pretty limited and then also like obviously I try to study based on whatever rotation I'm on just so I can be prepared for the patients I'm seeing, yada yada yada. All that to say that I didn't really get lots of time to focus on dermatology and ophthalmology but they're huge specialties and we're going to be examined on them. So anyways, I'm going to get up, have some breakfast to get set up for my exam and then you know, after that, it's sweet freedom. I'm all set up and ready to write this exam. Alrighty, just finished the exam, woohoo! Put on makeup for the first time in months. Feeling good. Um, I'm gonna go and get some Earls to celebrate, gonna have some lunch with one of my friends. And yeah, that is the last block exam for third year. So yeah, that is the end of this vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Sounds like there was some interest in tips for clerkship slash clinical placements. So that is my plan for the next video and I will see you then. Bye.